wanna be on top. Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty Within. <laughs> Today we have another fun challenge for you guys and this one's going to be five days of wardrobe swap challenge. We're gonna be delving into each other's clothes. <laughs> oh yes. Every person, they can wear the same thing but it will look totally different. Yes, it's totally an expression of yourself. And I think we can easily just get stuck into one sort of style that we're comfortable with and it's very hard to break out of that, which is why we thought this challenge would be really fun. So first of all, let's find out what each other's style is all about. I feel like I'm one of these people who are who are born in the wrong era. It's the old, the Victorian-ish mm. style, like the drops, you know, the draping. And the so high neck. The high neck. But um, it's kind of like old, but actually combined with new. If it's A like... twist on the old. Exactly. I'm very like comfort. And also I like feminine, but simplistic. But then I also like to incorporate patterns and just like a pop of color sometimes. So it really just depends <laughs> on the mood, you know? And if you can't tell already, I love denim. <laughs> I have like 50 shades of really? denim. Really? Is that so? <laughs> I feel like this challenge essentially is dressing up Barbie. You are my Barbie, I am your Barbie, and we're going to dress each other. In the Barbie world. So I look forward to, to see that on you. So let's just start. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. So we're just gonna change and be right back. Bye. I see Felicia, she's, uh, you know, her style is very casual, therefore her movements are also like very fast and casual. I chose that specific outfit on the first day because I really wanted to see how she would transform into this statue of beauty. Okay, I have no idea what I look like right now because Yulia no didn't let me look in the mirror. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh my goodness! I loved that long t-shirt. It was like a high neck with the ribbon. It was it was feminine. It was very versatile. And wide leg pants, all about. Like I was loving that outfit. It was just not used to having such a statement head piece, as in the beret. Like it looks freaking dope, actually. Is this what you would ever picture me in? Uh no. I feel like um, a mushroom. Okay, so because Yulia's always so elegant, always so put together, I thought it would be really funny to put her in one of my more like hood or like more disheveled kind of looks. All right, you guys ready to see the brand new Yulia? <laughs> Voila! Big reveal. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so you see, I love denim and I love baggy t shirts. For me, it was like a big shock in a way because I would never, ever, ever wear this jacket with this hoodie thing, like ever. And then inside is just like, you know, a nice pop of color. And then we tucked it into these high waisted gingham pants. The interesting thing was just people's reaction. Like I think they were just blinking, like they didn't even know what to say or like know how to comment on it. Eric, do you see anything different? Not at all. <laughs> Very uh, normal. Felicia, can you say something in French to me? Bonjour. She went, what do you think? I feel like it's too big for you. <laughs> Does she look like me? No. <laughs> it's like this recurring theme of like something that she wears that looks so great and gorgeous and it just looks so different on me. So it was kind of a shock to the system. Day one was just a shock. Meanwhile. When I really dress myself up, I feel like a million dollars, mm. right? So just to let you know, I've given you many, many millions of dollars each day. <laughs> the trousers though, I really liked. They were so cute. I would wear them like myself, but um, the combination, it made me feel, excuse me, do you have a dollar for me? I was like, you know, I'm never gonna see Yulia in another like streetwear kind of vibe. So this was again, another, cash streetwear, um, especially with the Carhartt beanie. Anytime you put on those beanies and Timberland boots, it's like no brainer. Like top and bottom, you can fill it with anything in between, but it will still be like street. I'm trying to behave, you know, I'm trying to be a lady. <laughs> I'm trying to be a woman. 
But when I'm being put into those kind of clothes, it's like the gangster side is coming out of me. She looks so gangsta. Gangsta. Normally I try to sit straight just because it's good for the posture. It's good. I feel whatever I put on is start to become it. The way I sit, you know what I mean? Look at that. That's not the lady. And I look at someone from like underneath like this, like, yo, what's up? Man, I'm looking at you and I'm like, do I look that hood when I wear it? Once again, I saw her transform into like TLC look. <laughs> that was very kind of 90s R&B. I would like to wear something like that if I would like, you know, like when dancing in a video clip, you know, street dance, hip hop, something. That's cool. Hey. This was so much fun, <laughs> but I'm happy it's over. Throughout the week, we saw her dance moves come out more and more. You know, the spontaneous Yulia. <laughs> I wanted Felicia to wear the long skirt, which you don't see these days so much. The magical touch. Oh, yes. This started to um, cut off my circulation the other day. Yeah, like my <laughs> the wrist food was yesterday. all stuck. <laughs> and then I took it off and it was like... <sighs> it was an all black ensemble. It was a turtleneck and a long pleated chiffon dress that went all the way to the ground because we have a height difference so she was kind of tripping over oh, so short short people problem oh my god whoa so cute so with today's outfit i am actually not hating it i do love this black skivvy little thing i hate wearing stockings because i feel like a sausage i'll just stay away from stockings because they're just annoying to me it's like suffocating a sausage you know like a pork sausage that's wrapped up in intestine skin i think my favorite part are these sleeves it like extended the t-shirt and made something basic look elevated yeah. i was like yulia <laughs> i don't even know how to like pose for this yeah <laughs> she was like just Oh, you know, be elegant. I'm like, what? <laughs> so it was kind of theatrical in a way. And actually, now that I think about it, a lot of her outfits very, are very storytelling. Get it on. Starting with the jeans. I picked the long pink duster coat and the beige high neck uh, tee, as well as the wide leg jeans. There's a stain that maybe I was eating lunch. So, so uh, I do feel like a homeless person <laughs> <laughs> after all. Yes. And we have these loafers on the bottom with this cute little pearl heel. All right, work it. This kind of color palette is what you see me in a lot of the times. It's like the pinky neutrals with jeans. I think she looked awesome in that one, actually. But wait a second. Mm. What do we have in your pockets? Oh, gosh. <laughs> ticket, ticket. We always oh, so nice. find mysterious things in pockets, right? You don't clean coats that often. <laughs> I chose for Felicia this um, silky blouse with this top um, over it and then with the skirt, like the 60th, because it's very, very feminine, you know, the skirt, it's high waist. Actually, we want to see her wearing it with like high heels, you know, because it's uh, the skirt goes over the knee, so you kind of need like height for that. When wearing something like this, like a ribbon, you know, like, or like a belt on my waist. I personally feel sort of like the posture, it goes up. Like, I feel like so good in them. Yeah. And so I wanted to make you feel like that as well. So I was really oh, looking I forward to see you. I definitely felt uh, special. Oh. Oh. I'm going crazy. Yeah, I want to take this off so badly. It's just so constricting and I feel like a hot air balloon. Yeah. I don't think Yulia looks like this when she wears it. When she wears it, she looks totally normal. She looks really fashionable. Yeah. When you wear it, I'm just like, who are you? Like, what is this? Really Lost. Find first out what your body is and you just have to like find your own fitting. I love this coat and that's exactly the color that I used to wear a lot. I love the high waist jeans. I, I like the top. I mean that color, that's exactly the color that I used to wear. That was really nice. So I kind of like, you know, I could like walk smoothly and I really loved it. I would definitely wear that. Putting a sleeveless crop top over it was really annoying. I can't lift my chicken wing arm. <laughs> I can't flap away. Because every time I like incrementally lift it, it would be like, Bloop! 
and then it would bunch up the kind of silky thing and I was just like everywhere. What do you think of this outfit? You look like an uh, Amish lady. Very, very <laughs> upright. I think it will have good impact on your life. It's a fish tail. What type of fish? The fighting fish? Uh, <laughs> Some inspiration. It's like a beautiful dress. You feel like a sea merman on land. And so I wanted her to feel that same way. I wanted her to experience how it feels to be this ultimate woman at the sea. Wind blowing into her hair and being beautiful and smelling good and looking good. My red dress! <laughs> I just want to be kind of in the background, but that outfit was like, no, you're gonna stand at the front. <laughs> and every time looking at her, the way she was trying to behave, she felt uncomfortable. She's like, okay. Okay, so for Yulia, I really love flamingos and I really love oversized t-shirts. So it's an oversized t-shirt with flamingos. <laughs> Seeing that contrast of like grease lightning leather jacket with, um, as opposed to her normal was very cool to see. Last accessory. Oh my gosh, I love it! I love it! I love it! <laughs> okay, so I was burning hot with the sweater over the blouse. Tight. And the leather jacket. I was going crazy. So I took off sweater of course and the flamingos <laughs> what do you think of my style today very elegant like this lace is just next level i never never had a leather jacket in my life it made me feel tough we're taking a europe tour with um julia's closet wow this coat really goes so nicely with the outfit though it's like a little bit of Game of Thrones going on. <laughs> Game of Thrones in Spain. Red, that that shade of red, I would never wear. Polka dots, I also try to stay away from because I just look like a child, I feel. Okay, now, the worst thing is I have a meeting and so I hope people will take me seriously still. <laughs> I chose for Felicia to wear this beautiful poncho. But you're gonna miss this period of your life to be able to dress up like this. Because I'm never gonna do it again. I know. <laughs> so that outfit, it's all gray. It's a, it's a beautiful texture and the fabrics, they were going together very well, together with this white blouse. I think it looked really great on her, like even better than I thought. I really love pairing, you know, like long wide leg pants and tucking in any sort of shirt. I'd never really seen her in little flower prints, which is why I specifically picked that one. Like, don't you feel like it's too tight? We will not have any blood going through there. <laughs> Felicia, she thought, why not suffocate Julia? Why not? You know, through her wrists, <laughs> cut off the blood. If you see me laying like this, <laughs> we either straighten it or curl it. Having her hair like straight, because her hair's normally really curly, she looked like Margot Robbie. <laughs> the trousers, I mean, it's great, wonderful, but the blouse, I would never choose that print. Color. That's what I see, like a grandma print. But it did look good, I mean, they say. Right, I think like every now and again, you should kind of push yourself and try something new. If you never tried it, you'll never know. So it's about four o'clock and I started to realize these buns are giving me a migraine <laughs> because my hair is not used to being put up and I just want to rip these out. <laughs> Can I? Can I? They're too tight. <laughs> The interesting thing is, I was like, is that all I'm gonna wear? <laughs> She's like, yes. Okay. Mm. So, unfortunately, I had to put on this thing because the top is see-through. Someone came to me and said, what are you wearing on this shirt? Are you wearing something underneath? I said, yes. But it was not enough. Oh! <laughs> and I started sweating. <laughs> so I had to take the poncho off. And then I couldn't breathe, so I had to unbutton this. It's actually very uncomfortable. <laughs> Day is almost over. Yeah. Her legs are so long, and I had to pull it up till here, and then roll it up as well, and it was still scraping the floor. Yulia's pants are way too long for me. <laughs> this hairstyle, kind of feeling it. And... 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. It was definitely <laughs> very interesting, very fun for us. Leave all your comments below if you have any other ideas about any style challenges. We would love to do this again. And make sure you subscribe. And we will see you later. Bye. <laughs>